let's begin with our salute. Be patient with yourselves and be patient with your teacher. You're learning, for those that are new, you're learning something which is new in many ways. Physically, it is new. You're using, putting your arms and legs and body into positions which many of you are not familiar with. You are going at a rate of speed that most of us in modern day uh, very seldom do it. So it takes a bit of adjustment and so be patient with yourselves. Much of what we're going to do in the, the, the 10 weeks is acquisition. Acquisition of sequencing, acquisition of physical movements. And that's sometimes tough stuff for people who have never done it. And certainly a new exercise for those who have not done it sometimes uh, brings with it some things which you've not seen for a long time. Maybe if you are sedentary, all of a sudden you start to move. The next day um, you say, wow, where did all these aches and pains come from? Just your body doing things conceivably that you've not done for a long time. And part of being here is why you're, you're, you're going to get that because you, you are waking up your body. Okay? So what I like to do is, again, we'll start with our warm-ups, as I said, we, we always do. Okay? So the first thing is hands to your waist. We're going to do our turn neck exercise. There we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch your neck exercise. I'll just show it. You're stretching your neck forward. Bringing it back to neutral position again. That's one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your shoulders forward. One, two, three. Lift them. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll go back the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Goes go. go. Go nice and slow. Let them stretch, okay? Let your body stretch, okay? Expand your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your waist, hands straight up. Knees bent a little bit so you can twist fully. Here we go. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Airplane. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Touch toe, come down, brush your legs, come back up on your legs, come back, go up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. So, we're going to turn our waist. Remember, turn your waist with your legs bent. If you turn straight-legged, you will wobble on your knees. You want to wobble on your hips and try to emphasize swishing them back and forth. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick your foot, just a little bit of Tai Chi, centering and balancing, shift and shifting weight, shift to the left foot, bring the right foot up, head is up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shift weight again, center, head up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another one we refer to as kicking your butt. So here we go. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you take your time, it gives you a little bit of time to shift weight and root down and try not to be tripping back and forth. That's part of the exercise. Okay, here we go. Down, down to the knees. Turn, turn your knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. We're going to do Heisman. Heisman is a, it's almost like a Tai Chi pose. Its feet are parallel, not pointed in, not pointed out, as parallel as you can get them. If you want to make it parallel this way or parallel this way, that's all right with me. But it's basically doing a knee bend on one side. And as you're doing your knee bend, you come up, come up, come out. And as you come out, this hand takes in. Some people do it this way. I like to do it this way. It's a, a, a blocking posture and also a blocking posture. So you cross your hands as you're coming down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come up. Go the other way. Up, knee bend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Th those, th these are now getting into Tai Chi movements, which you will use. Uh, 
in the 10 form and the other forms. And part of the reason why we do that in warm-ups is it's one of the more difficult movements and you need a certain amount of strength, you need a certain amount of balance to really do it well. So remember, if you're here and you, you come up and out. Now, the, the golden cockerel is all, it, it really, the hands should start approximately here in a, a neutral form because what happens is it's the maneuver of moving this hand and this hand, it helps you to set the, your back, upper back and shoulder muscles as a platform and it also helps you to center because what's happening is energy is coming in this plane and coming in this plane allows you to stay mostly in the midline. Your hands are not out somewhere. And the second thing is shifting your weight to the side that you're going to be using as your, uh, your substantial leg. Everybody remembers substantial, the leg that doesn't move. So you shift, and we talked about the Don Tin the last time, which is the area deep to your, uh, your abdomen, just in the top of your pelvis, and that's your center of balance. And your Tai Chi posture orients the head up, back straight, butt underneath, shoulders sort of bent in, chin down, and, you're, and the knees are bent. In this case, we've already got them bent. But you're going to shift, and from, from you shift, and as you, well, I'm sorry, you shift, and as you shift, this hand comes down, and this hand comes up. In the meantime, the leg has centered to come up. Head is up, okay, you come back, down, up, down, shift, center, up, down, shift, center, up, down, shift, center, up, down, shift, center, up. When you first start, just any type of maneuver where you can uh, pay due diligence. You shift, you try to shift as best you can. You center, you try to center as best you can. You bring your knee up the best you can. Sometimes it's just a token, get your foot off the ground. Eventually, when you have enough strength and coordination, and if you're really flexible, you can see the, the best, they can put their elbow here and their knee <laughs> almost approximate, and for the guys that are young and, and, and can do it fine. For the rest of us, you get it up. If you can get it above a, a right angle, you're doing pretty good, okay? So you can aspire to that, but anything you can do, it's like anything in Tai Chi. Be patient with yourself. We all have our strengths and limitations, and knowing what they are is part of the, I think, the the reason why at least I do Tai Chi. So now we're gonna do the kick out. Kick out is fairly similar in, in the sense that you're centering your things, but you're also using, in this case, you are shifting substantial leg, and you have your, you're gonna be kicking out with your right leg. So the right hand is out in front of the left hand, and you cross, you come up to, to help yourself orient to the midline, and then you start to come, and you, and you center your leg, and then you come up. This one helps you to be oriented, this leg, this arm. This helps you to be uh, a counterbalance to this leg and this hand. Okay, so you're going vertically, but you balance. Here we go. Right hand out in front, shift weight, up, out. Come back down, shift weight, center, cross, up, and out. Shift your weight, center, up, and out. Shift your weight, center, up, and out. Shift your weight, center, up, and out. We're gonna do 
the, uh, the one maneuver in the 10 form that we do quite often. It involves the twist step, but it involves other steps. And last time I didn't break it down, I just thought it, but within this movement that we do, that we repeat quite a few times in the 10 form, are many of the stances uh, and, and steps. Uh, you might remember the, the T-step. T-step is the right leg, in this case, is substantial, and the left leg is insubstantial, it is up, and there's hardly any weight on it, just at your toe, and it marks a T. So that's the T-step. Then what we do is we're going to go out in this direction, and we label this the L stance, or the L step, out and to the side, so that when you shift, you have an L. But you have to go out and to the side, otherwise you're just coming right out here, and you just got an elongated T. That's not gonna do, because you need to get out and to the side, form an L, put your weight down, this becomes substantial, this is insubstantial, then you can make the adjustment, which is the, a common Tai Chi footing, and you go into the bow step. This footing, uh, as you go on in Tai Chi, you'll recognize it easily. The back foot is at a 45 degree angle. The front foot, it has a 90 degree angle, as we say that this is the straight line 90 degrees, uh, 45 degrees off of that. Just one of the, di the diagonals of the tile is where you should be when you finally set. And this should be parallel to one of the lines that are going in this direction. And your weight shifts. The weight in this case is approximately 70% on the front foot and 30% on the back foot. It should not be so far forward that your knee is over your toe. It should be forward enough so that it's just at the toe and your body should be turned so you're looking in that direction. You have to turn your waist, okay? So, and then there's another step now, twist step. You come, you sit back, this becomes substantial. So what happens, what happens to this foot? What can you do with the insubstantial foot? You can now move it, okay? That's a Tai Chi rule. You switch and you twist and you make this 90 degree to here. And then you twist this foot and you sit down and sit back and you bring this foot up. And you're now back at a T-step in this direction, okay? Now, to get out, the next step will be the, from the T to the L. So you have to be substantially rooted so you can afford to lift your foot up. Lift your foot up and then you turn your, you open your hip, you have to turn, it's almost one of these things. And you got out and to the side and you, you shift your weight and you turn back down and you're at the bow step, this is the bow step, okay? Then what do you do? You gotta come back, sit back, twist step straight, Twist step here, T. Out, L, bow. Sit back, twist. Twist again on the other side and sit back. T. Out, L, bow. Sit back, twist. Twist, sit back, T, out, L, bow. Sit back, twist, forward, twist, T. Up and out, bow. Okay, now, it's sort of awkward sometimes just to hold your, your waist. So, I'm gonna do yet another maneuver that we do with, uh, in the 10 form and, and in the, uh, and all three forms that we teach, but 
And it, it involves another maneuver, holding the ball. Holding the ball is the hands are positioned so that one is just at the top of the chest and the other is just below the navel. It's, it's a form of, again, centering. You're bringing all of your energy back here. You center. Okay. In this case, let me go through what I'm, I'm, I'm going to want to do here. We'll, we'll start off with a T-step. Step out. Twist step. Sit back. Hold your ball. T-step. L. Out. O step. Twist step. Hold your ball. Sit back, T-step, out, open your ball. This is the, the, the movement of parting the horse's mane. Parting the horse's mane is stepping out. This hand is from this position, it's coming out, coming down in this position, and this is coming forward. It's not a sweeping forward, but it is a pushing forward, but because you turn in your body, you will, it looks apparently like you're doing one of these things, that you're doing this. In Tai Chi, you're trying to use your core muscles and your arms are more as appendages of that energy. From here, out here, push, just push. And I, I usually like to nickname it. It's like you, you, you're offering somebody uh, something. Have one. If you were to stand still and not bend, not, not twist, you're just doing this. Have one. And you're pushing from the back. The strength is from the back. But because you're, you're turning at your waist, it looks as if you're doing this, but you're really doing this. Okay, so there we go. Lots of different elements, but just, just go through. When you use your ball, the bottom hand is usually becomes the leading part of the mo movement. For instance, if you are up, coming out leading here. But this does not absolve the other hand of doing something. It comes down. Again, it helps you with asymmetric movements making for unity. You do this, you do this, your back, your core muscles are being uh, stimulated, okay? Here, out, here. Okay, let's go ahead. There we go. Hold your ball. Be ample with your ball. There we go. Step out. Advance. Bow step. Sit back. Twist step. Hold your ball. Twist step. T. Step out. L. O, sit back, twist step, hold your ball, T-step, out, bow, sit back, twist step, twist step and sit back, step out, L, bow, sit back, twist step, T, out. If you can master this twist step routine, you can do, even if you don't get through all 10, you can practice Tai Chi and get the rhythm and get the footwork. There, you're going to learn uh, a maneuver called grasping the bird's tail. And that was one of the first things I could remember. Because they had it like this, I could go back and forth and back and forth. And you can use that. If you say, either I don't want to do the whole 10 form, I just want to get into the Tai Chi mode. If you know how to do this back and forth thing, you can adapt it to many individual maneuvers and you can brush up. I'll, I'll show you grasping the bird's tail, okay? From here, step out, ward off. Flip back. Press. Open. 
push down, sit back, push up. Twist step, T step, uh, ward off, turn, pull down, turn, press, push out, sit down, push up and forward. Turn, twist step. You get it? You can just go back and forth. Even if you say, geez, all he got me to was uh, uh, parting the horse's mane. You can do parting the horse's mane, and you still will get Tai Chi balance, uh, a value. You, you try to practice slow, deliberate, intentional movements. Um, so that's basically a little bit of warm up. Now, remember Tai Chi posture? Tai Chi posture. What's Tai Chi posture? It's basically standing relaxed, not flexed, but the knees are relaxed, not fixed. Okay? And then you, you sort of sit, your, your, your butt is tucked underneath your, your backbone, and your backbone is straight. Your head is, with the neck is back so that it's in neutral position, so your head just rests on your shoulder. Not a liability out this way, not back this way. Okay? So you're like so. Your shoulders are, are allowed to droop forward a little bit, arm, elbows are straight down, and you have a relaxation in your, your armpits so that you're not tight here, you're relaxed, okay? Uh, uh, the chin is down, tongue is at the, the palate. You're then able to breathe through your mouth and breathe through your nose, uh, whichever way is, is most comfortable, and yet you still have lubrication in your mouth. But one thing I also found out, you know, you put your tongue to your palate, and unless you're pressing on your palate to beat the band, it's hard to be tense. You know, you can't clench down when you've got your, your tongue at the, the, the roof of your mouth. You, you, you're you're going to tend to relax a little bit. But, okay, so that's Tai Chi posture. And then the first two forms we talked about was commencing form and repulsing the monkey, okay? So we'll go, go through that again, and I'll, I'll do it facing you so you see where my, hand is, my hands are doing, then I'll, I'll face the wall and do it the other way. But you're in Tai Chi posture, hands to the side, almost, your middle finger is almost touching the, the seams of your, 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 your clothes, and then you shift your weight to the right, subtly, so the right becomes substantial. This allows for the left foot to be elevated onto the toe, and then when you're ready, you slowly let the foot out, come to your toe, and then come down to your heel. Even weight. This is what's called the horse stance. It's even weight on both. And as soon as you're set, you bring your hands up forward, and then you're ready to go. You take a slow, deep breath as you push your hands forward. Not lifting this way, but push your hands forward and center on your, your fingers and the, the front of your palms of your hand. Makes your hand feel like it's almost levitating up the position. And then you come back down. You drop your elbows, you drop your shoulders, come down, and you bend your knees. Bend your knees. The depth at which you bend your knee hopefully will be the level at which you will do your Tai Chi throughout, because what you don't want to be doing is bobbing up and down. You're down here, and you stay here throughout the procedure. But here we go again. Up. Out. Down on the heel. Equal weight, hands forward. Take a slow, deep breath in. Push your hands as it comes up. To your shoulders, drop your elbow, drop your shoulders, and come down, bring your knees down. You're right about here. Okay? When you're breathing, try to breathe with diaphragmatic breathing. I hope everybody's familiar with it. But just to review, diaphragmatic breathing is using your diaphragm, which is a muscle which suspends the heart and separates the lungs 
and heart from the abdominal cavity. The principal function of the muscle is to contract, and what happens is this thing does this and makes negative pressure in your chest cavity, makes your lungs inflate, okay? That's the kind of breathing you want. You don't want to use the kind of breathing that sometimes people say, <gasps> take a deep breath. That's not what you want to do. You want to just stand here and the belly goes out. Singers do that. You, you don't, you very seldom see, see singers. <gasps> Trained singers are just, and Tai Chi is what you want to do. It makes you expand your lungs better, you get better breathing, okay? And I guess some Tai Chi proponents said it allows you to do some internal massaging of your, your, your internal organs. But here we go. We try again. Shift weight. Up on the toe. Out. Down on the toe. Down on the heel. And forward. Take a slow, deep breath in. Exhale on the way down. In fact, even some Tai Chi Qigong, Qigong movements, you can continue to go up, practice this, down. Up, down. Okay, the next movement is repulsing the monkey. Hands are here, but the hands move and separate out. This goes out to 135, not 180, 135 or 90 degrees. One, so you, you're not turning your waist a lot. You're just sort of turning your head a little bit. As soon as you get out this way, the hands open. Again, here we go. Up, down. Hands come up, but they spread at this point. So spread. And open, just like you open. Think about opening a blossom, okay? And then here, bring it, the hand to the ear, come forward. A slight cross of hands at the middle as you are pushing and pulling. So as this shoulder is coming this way, this shoulder is coming this way. You know? The left shoulder is pulling back, the right shoulder is coming forward. So the hand is like so here. This hand comes out and it's open. The minute it decides it's going to start to do this, this hand opens up. Come up, come down, cross a little bit, push and pull. This hand is still up forward, straight forward. This comes out, hand is palm up, but as soon as it gets to start to do one of these things, it signals for this thing to do this. Okay. So, let's do it this way. Here we go. Commencing form. Hands forward. Take a slow, deep breath in. Come down. Exhale. Put the hands out. Palms down. Palms up. Hand to the ear. Turn forward, cross hands, push and pull. Right palm is down, left palm is up. As soon as you start to come up to the ear, the, the right palm comes forward, or comes up. And the forward hand remains in the midline. Turn the hands up, hand to the ear, push and pull. Hand to the ear, hand comes up, push and pull. This, right now, the hand in the center doesn't seem to have that much function other than just staying there, but it's a way of orienting you that you are in this midline, but of course you say, I'm not going anywhere. But 
when, when you later on, as you progress, there's this thing called the uh, uh, repulsing the monkey. The hand is here, and this helps you. It's almost like a keel on a boat. It's right down the center of the boat so that the boat doesn't go wobbling, or even a, a rudder, but the rudder stays in the mid. So you're, you're coming here. Otherwise, if you're, your hand is moving this way or that way, you conceivably be wobbling all over the place, but it provides you some stability. But in, in the, the 10 form, it's just, it's there and that's how they, they choreographed it. So, and the next is uh, a thing called brush knee. You do repulsing the monkey just two times. And then you do a T step. And in the meantime, when you're doing a T step, this hand comes from here and this comes out. What this is, this hand is coming from. It's coming from this position. It's coming back this way. Okay, that's, that's the, probably a martial arts of lock, lock. I know coming to the chest is sort of parallel to the ground, but it's a circle or a spiral movement. And then you come back up, spiral up this way, going out this way, spiral. Same thing, it's like two blades on a mixer. So let's go ahead again. It comes out here, and then you T, because T, this is coming this way, this is coming, and you turn, okay? Sit back, twist step, our friend the twist step, hand comes up, leg is out, leg comes in, hand comes in, out, turn, sit back, There. Okay. So at least you see it, where, what my hands are doing. Now we do it, let's do it together this way. We'll start from the beginning. Here we go. Commencing form. Up. Down. Exhale. Repulsing the monkey. Open the hands. Push and pull. Hand to the ear, open the hand. Push and pull. Hands to the right, twist, form a T-step. Turn, brush your knee and push. Sit back, put the hands to the left. T-step, turn, brush your knee and push. Sit back, twist step, hands to the right, T step, out, knee and push. Sit back, hands out to the left, T step. Step out, L, turn and press. Sit back, hands out to the right, <clears throat> T step, hand, uh, L form, Bow form, bow step. Sit back, hands out to the left, T step. L, bow, brush and push. Okay. Commencing form. Drop it down, exhale, repulsing the monkey, open the hands, up to the ear, cross hands, push and pull, out to the left, up, open the hands, push and pull, 
hands to the right T-step. L, brush your knee. Sit back, twist step, hands to the left. T-step, L, brush your knee. Sit back, twist step, hold your ball left under right. T-step, L, parting of the horse's mane. Sit back, twist step, hold your ball, T-step, L, parting of the horse's mane. Advance the left hand to meet the right, flip your hands, twist step, cloud hands. Close your step, open your step. Come to the left, but don't go further, turn back. Go to the right, close step. Open. Come back to the left, golden cockle. Kick out to the right. Kick out to the left. Hold your ball T-step. L, ward off. Advance hand, flip. Pull down, sit back. Turn, press forward, open the hand. Sit back, pull down. Advance forward, push up. Twist step, hold your ball, left under right, L, ward off. Flip your hands, sit back, pull back. Turn, press forward and out and open. Sit back, push down, up and forward. Twist step. Twist step on the right, open, chop downward, twist step inward, cross hands, elevate, turn the hands forward, push out, come down to the side, closing form. Commencing form. Hands forward, take a slow deep breath in, lift up. You're pulsing the monkey on the right. Cross your hands, push and pull. Out, open your hands, to the hand to the ear, push and pull. Hands to the right, brush knee, T-step, L-step, brush your knee. Sit back, twist step, hands to the left, T-step, L, brush knee. Sit back, hold your ball, left under right, T-step, parting of the horse's mane, forward. Sit back, twist step, T, L, Bow. Bring your left hand forward, hands opposite to each other. Now flip your hands. Twist step. Bring your hands forward. Cloud hands. Close your step. Open your step. Come to the left, but hold your position and come back to the right. Close your step. Close your step, open your step, I'm sorry. Come back to the left, golden cockle. Kick out to the right. T 
G-step, grasping the bird's tail. L, ward off, flip your hand, pull back and down, turn, turn back forward, press forward, two hands, open the hands, push down, back up, twist step, hold your ball, left under right, L, ward off, flip your hands, pull down, turn, press forward, open your hands, sit back and push down, back up, forward. Twist step on the left, twist step out on the right, right hands coming down, twist step on the right inward, leg coming inward as the hands cross, hands come up, left, uh, left behind right, push out, drop your shoulders, closing form. Close your step. Okay. Go. Up and out. Hands forward. Take a deep breath in. Up. Down. Hands down. Open hands. Repulse the monkey. Push and pull. Open the hands. Push and pull. Hands to the right, shift, T-step, turn, brush. Sit back, this hand, left hand comes out, T-step, brush your knee. Okay, go back again. Here. Sit back, twist step, T, turn, out. Okay. 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 So, see you next week.
Thank you. 